Mike Hancock here with Don Tolman and you're looking at One Tree Hill New Zealand, an obelisk just like the Memnon stone which I've actually seen really, I didn't really understand it because I saw it in 1995 initially but Don tell us about the Memnon stone. There's so much to talk about when it comes to the Memnon stone that we probably can't cover it all here but the Memnon stone the base was in a perfect square which stood for the alchemical understanding of air, fire, earth, and water is what leads to life. It became an acronym within the English language which embraces all languages on the earth and that's why it's such a dynamic language. Air, fire, earth, and water is the word a few. The statement was a few there be that find it that find what? The key to life and health and vitality, that it comes of air and fire, today called sunshine, and earth, the whole foods that come of nature, and of course, water. These were represented in the obelisk by the four directions, north, east, west, south, which is an acronym that stands for news the good news, later called the God spell, later reduced to gospel. Gospel means the good news of air, fire, earth, and water. The Memnon stone was so precious because the Egyptians, the ones who originally built it, a culture of white race people with blue eyes, which were so different to most of the cultures on the earth. When they built that stone, they cut it out of oolite sandstone and when they stood it up and the sun in the morning would hit the stone, it would sing. <laughs> it's kind of windy here. But the Memnon stone would sing and make tones in a perfect pitch of F sharp G flat. Napoleon, years and years and years later came along, conquered Egypt, wanted his people to take the Memnon stone, dig down under the base, and move it to France. As they were starting to dig and to move it, all of a sudden the Memnon stone cracked and it made all of the engineers very fearful. They were afraid it would no longer sing. So Napoleon was contacted. He said, stop it, don't move it, leave it. We do not want to ruin the preciousness of the song of this stone. Then he told his engineers to take concretus, liquid stone, cement, and to fill the crack. And so they did. And the stone quit singing. It no longer sings. They've never been able to get it sing since. And let me tell you something. In a place in northern Arizona, on Lake Powell, there's an entire rock wall that I discovered years ago and had the sandstone tested. It's made of oolite sandstone, the very same things that the Memnon stone is made of. One of the things that I want to do in the very near future is to cut an obelisk from that oolite sandstone and to erect it in the perfect location to where it will begin to sing for people on this earth again. I believe that people will come from all over the world to hear the F-sharp G-flat of that sandstone. And I love the sheep back here and it, because they, to me, represent sheep. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible how they've gathered around and want to hear the story of Memnon, the obelisk stone. On the very bottom of the stone originally was carved health comes of a happy heart, and I believe that that is true. Happiness is the greatest principle of health that exists. Amazing. That is so 